Hello, I'm Robin Wally, welcome to Lenscraft. Today I'd like to answer a request that came in from a visitor to my website. I have an article on there explaining how to add an image border in Lightroom and this person was actually struggling a little bit so I've recorded this video and hopefully it will help them and others who may be wanting to do this. You can see on the screen at the moment an image in my Flickr account which I've actually added a border and placed a small black stroke line around the image itself. This helps you display much more effectively on Flickr. Let's switch over now and take a look in Lightroom and I'll, sh I'll explain exactly how we can do this. So here's the image we're going to use. I've deliberately picked an image that's irregular in shape because that's going to be a little bit more tricky to actually create and you have to use an actual uh, custom dimension to create this. So the way we do this is once you've prepared your image, go over to the print module in Lightroom and here you can see now that the image is set up to print on a portrait page. Now if we use this as it stands we'll end up with a lot of space at the top and bottom of the image and a small image in the center just as you see on the screen. So the first thing to do is we're going to change the page setup and we're going to now move this to be landscape. Now that's much better but we still don't have the image sat in the middle of the screen. Now I know the size of this image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom paper size here to place the image on and I'm going to create that at 4 inches by 7 inches. So the way I do that is over on the right hand side of the screen I've scrolled down to print job and I can select this option here custom file dimension and I can now set this to be 7 inches wide by 4 inches high and that should allow the image to fill the screen and the paper and we'll end up with an even border on all sides of the image. Let's take a look now at some of the other options we have on this page that help us to actually create the image we want. Now the first thing is I've actually got this set to single image contact sheet and that means we've just got one image in the center of the screen and that's how the output file is going to look. I also have turned on further down the guides so you can see my ruler, page bleed, margins, gutters, all these things that allow you to set up the size of the page and place the image in the center. Further up in the layout you have the margins which can appear around the image. I've got these all set to um, half an inch in size and we have got one image on the sheet in this page grid. We also have the cell size of the image which is three inches by six inches. The overall size of the image though is 7 inches by 4 inches. Now this bit at the bottom, print job, is where we set it to be JPEG. Now you can set this to printer and that's probably the default for most people who are out there. But if you set it to JPEG file, what it means is we will print a JPEG out of this image as it appears on the screen. Now the next thing here is the file resolution. As this is a 7 inch image, a 200 dpi or ppi resolution will mean that the image will be 1400 pixels in dimension and that's about the right size for displaying OK on Flickr. You do have the option of print sharpening. If you take that option, I suggest making sure you've got media type set to matte and the print sharpening set to standard. It tends to show up sharpening artifacts if you go to gloss and high on some images. And the final thing that we can have is the colour management and here you can pick your colour profile to be embedded in the image. If you're not quite sure what I'm talking about here the best option for an internet image is sRGB. So if you click on that you can see different colour profiles here as well as printer profiles but just go with sRGB. That's all we need to set. We now click print to file and we can name our file now. I'm going to just put this in the downloads and I'm just going to call it Pia. I can save that. The image has now been printed and produced as a JPEG image over in my downloads file. If I double click on this to open it, there you can see um, we've got the white border right the way around the image. Now one thing that we can do 
to make that look a little better is we can actually include this stroke border around the outside of the image and that's in this option here in the image settings now the border is actually in points just as you measure font sizes so the best thing to do is keep it at a relatively low setting 0.2 of a point that's a couple of pixels wide and you can select as well the color that you would like to use now i'm just going to use a black border on mine and then if we save that again we'll save it again over the original peer image we'll replace it now we can go and take a look and there we have the image with a thin black border around the outside of the actual image and the white border around everything else and that's now fine for uploading to Flickr or Facebook. If you decide you want to create a slightly better resolution you can increase the point per inch size or you can set a as well a larger custom file dimension so you can create bigger images as well as smaller images. I hope you find that interesting and useful. If any of you out there have any requests for future videos do let me know. Thanks for watching. Thank you.